In this video, I'll be taking you through one of the recent meta builds in Set 9, featuring Shadow Isles with Rogue. Get ready to feed your eyes with the ability of the 3-star Callista. I'll show you the step-by-step -step process to build this comp and will also address potential setbacks. So, without further ado, let's jump right into the gameplay. Talking about the legends, we have a few choices to choose from, like Twisted Fate which is useful to make ideal items for Callista, and another Legend Earth which has a possibility of providing us either a Shadow Isles or Rogue Emblem. Legends must be chosen before matchmaking. In this game, I select Earth as the Legend, which provides emblems from Ancient Archives Augment. Now let's hop into the gameplay. In this game, I got the Thresh Sanctum Portal from the Shadow Isles region, by which, I I got loot for every 40 units getting killed. We have a better chance of getting Vigo and Nakai early in the game, kicking off our Shadow Isles synergy. Early on Shadow Isles can be combined with Bastion synergy. We have a dedicated video on this Bastion and Shadow Isles comp. Do check it out on our channel. For the first augment I picked the Ancient Archives I augment, which grants a Tome of Traits that offers an emblem. Then I opted for the Rogue Emblem from it. So early on I activated the Shadow Isles with Rogue Synergy from my first battle. As I lost this first battle I decided to go on a losing streak and started stacking gold. At the 2-2 round itself, one of my opponents maxed out his Cho'Gath. Could be dangerous later on. And from the carousel I picked the Zed with a recurve bow. Then I lost a few more rounds to make the additional gold from that losing streak. For the second augment, luckily I got the Shadow Isles heart. Thus I can play with 6 Shadow Isles once I get other Shadow Isles units. Then I managed to start off my winning streak by defeating the max Cho'Gath opponent. From the shop I got Katarina thus I activated the 4 rogue synergy early on. After a few rounds I moved to level 7. From the 3 to 7 monster round, I got 2 lesser champion duplicators. For the third augment I picked the final grab bag 2 augment which provides two random components, a little gold and a magnetic remover. At the 4-2 round, I leveled up to level 8 and finally I got my first Callista. Usually it doesn't take this long for the first Callista. Then I activated the 4 Shadow Isles with 4 Rogue Synergy. In the 4-4 carousel, I picked the Senna. And I also got Gwen from the next reroll, which completed my 6 Shadow Isles with 4 Rogue Synergy. I added Kled to have an active Slayer synergy too, but later on I swapped it for Heimer Dinger, and this time for the Apex turret I gave the Shrink module and Meccano Swarm upgrades making it easier for Callista and Gwen to wipe out opponent units. At the 5-4 carousel I picked the Slayer emblem and gave it to Callista. Then with a complete stack of 50 golds, I rerolled for Callista, and for her final copy I used the Lesser Champion Duplicator to make her 3-star. I also tried to max out my Gwen, but with a 12 winning streak, I won my final battle to secure the top position. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Feel free to share your thoughts by dropping in the comments below. Stay tuned for more interesting gameplay content on our channel, Item Swap, and don't forget to subscribe.